The following video will contain spoilers for all of Final Fantasy XIV right up until the beginning of Dawn Trail. There will also be some flashing light set points. Viewer discretion is advised. Greetings travelers. It's me, Misshapen Chair. Welcome to the minor story filler arc before the major story filler arc. Previously, on video series which name changes all the time, we beat Final Fantasy XIV for the PC. Then, the Scions of the Seventh and a Half Dawn disbanded totally for real for real ungod and will never work together ever again. That's because they will reform as a new group to have a much better name like the Nine Gates of Hell. That's why you remember exactly what Kududu said her new life goals are, which is going to be extremely important to the plot of Dawn Trail. Who the hell is Kududu? Well, that's enough excitement for a lifetime. Time to let loose. Tataru's already got the natty light. Isn't that gonna be dangerous for her? Relax, the alcohol content in these things is so low it should be in the soft drink section. The world is in danger! It's about to be if I don't get this vacation. Nah, I'm just messing with you. What are you gonna do next? Finish this drink. How about flashback to Emmett Silk? Ah, I remember when this thing happened like seven cutscenes ago. How about you go to Razadhan? I'd rather not. How about you go to Razadhan? Oh my god, is Takenyan really this much of a lightweight? Well, she is really tiny, so maybe it does make sense. This is only the second worst dream I've had today. Wake up! I made you new clothes. Wow, it's the perfect shade of purple. Now, if I wanted to find treasure in Razadhan, where would I go? To the bar. Challenge me to a drinking contest and I'll tell you where to look. Given the last two plot points with drinking, I think I can win this one. Fuck, nobody told me there were open flames around here. Please, you gotta let me buy that 100% real treasure map that's not fake and will make me a lot of money. Only a complete idiot would fall for that. No, it's a scam! Yeah, I know. Wanna see where it goes anyway? <laughs> Shit. That's all you had to say. Looks like a scary place. Do you know anyone who understands fear? I think Matsuya's still around. I can't think of better weather for an adventure. Sir, that was actually a scam. Hey, you know what they say, kid. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me as many times as I have and you stop caring at some point. Oh, I get it now. It's raining because you feel guilty. Maybe if you use that skill to water the crops in the area, you could make an honest living. Which would create a paradox because then you wouldn't feel guilty anymore and couldn't make it rain. Please, it's dangerous to go there. Look here, you little shit. I beat Xenos to death with my bare hands. I think I can handle appearing on the Legends of the Hidden Temple. Don't you have any other friends? I don't like the implication, but I do know a red-haired cat boy who would like to hang out. And that's why knowledge is power. Who walked in here without knocking? Audible gasp! Hey, wanna go on an adventure together? We are kinda busy at the moment, uh, But not too busy that you can't go with them. Woo! Maybe you should take Ishtola and Udienja too. Psh, I knew we'd reform the Nine Gates of Hell. The what? We'll find Ishtola near a large concentration of books. Better be quiet so we don't wake her up! Paint me like one of your French girls! Hey! Zutaloa! How long has it been? A trillion years. Very funny. Well, while you were studying the blade, I was reading on how to travel between the rifts, which is very hard, not easy, difficult, and not something that anyone can just do. This is gonna be thrown away in about four seconds, isn't it? Uh, if you're getting the gang back together, I assume you want Udianje as well. Damn it, I love this cat girl. What's up, nerd? I'm helping the small rabbits make a treasure hunt on the moon, Eth. Thanks for the exposition. Want to adventure? I don't see why not, Eth. Great, where's Stan Cred? I just got back from another bender. Really? You seem pretty healthy this time around. I think that whole getting turned into a walkable ground arc made me stronger. Ugh. Yeah, that's cool. So anyways, are you in? No. Damn, they whipped out the marimba for this one. Stop. Hey, we're at least uncommon. Also, how did you get here? If you were in dragon form, at least you could have flown. That's not important. What is important is our greatest secret hidden inside this crockpot. What is it? Some anime girl's bad cooking? Behold, a dimensional rift. Wow, a portal to the dank dimension. The what? Ah, uh, the 13th, the world that the Ashians partied too hard on and corrupted with overflowing dankness. They hotboxed an entire dimension? 
That doesn't make any sense. It's darkness, dankness. If that's true, how do you explain what happened on the first? Got too lit. Semantics aside. Back when Bahamut did his thing, the dragons fought the Alligans who made a deal with the Cloud of Dankness, mm -hmm. and my sister flew in to try to stop it at its source. There's another dragon that we didn't know anything about until right now? And so, we keep this portal as a way to maybe save her one day. Given that Nero turned purple that one time, anyone who's in there for more than a few hours is more than likely corrupted beyond comprehension... And only more than likely, though. The dragon scales are what we use to solve the Aether corruption problem, after all. Come on, Graha! Remember the plot! So, you're saying there's still a chance. I wouldn't put my money on it. And so you must replace the security measures in our secret lair. Who did this? It was us and I don't feel any remorse. I gotta go! Yeah, see you next week, everyone. Oh yeah, I look cool as fuck. The time has come, and so have I. And so, we must use all the emergency gold in the vault to help our nation rebuild. But how should we distribute it? Give the money to the common people to get them back on their feet, and then they'll generate their own income, and you'll see all the money come back through taxes in like a month. Hmm. Bail the people out themselves, and they'll benefit us in the long term. It's brilliant. What form of government is this called? It's called COMMON SENSE! Let us ask ourselves this question. People could summon monsters from the void. You better not be about to tell me that Hawk Manor is important to the plot. Just like they did repeatedly in A Realm Reborn. Do not pretend like that story mattered. Therefore, bringing over small monsters is easy and requires a guide, but large things require moving only its soul just like in Shadowbringers. Now we're talking! And the book that'll help us rip the rift a new one is in the Forbidden section. Oh, I know. That's where we're gonna go next. I'm having an internal conflict about joining them. Let us into the restricted section. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Are you trying to go to the dank dimension? I swear to God. You'll have to talk to Fortunal. Let me in and I'll give you this box of Fruit Loops. Psh, sucks to be you. You just lost some Fruit Loops. The bribery won't be necessary. We want to get into the Forbidden Archives. I'm surprised you even bothered asking this time. We're not. I'll put in a request to the forum. The fact that anything gets done this fast in a legislator is the most unrealistic part of Final Fantasy XIV. It all worked out when we reminded them that you did us the small favor of saving the entire known universe. All we have to do is save the password and we're in. <coughs> hmm, so basically what I'm gleaming from all this information is that we need a special artifact to bridge the gap between this and the Hell Dimension. Don't you dare say it. It's just like the Yamato. Jackpot. Devil May Cry reference check. And now we know that the Atmos can call from the void using a frequency that can be stored in a crystal. Makes you wonder what other problems could be solved if we were allowed to read anything else in here. Time to go! The alchemist from current expansion might be able to help us. Of course we can. Wait, why is the music changing to canticle? No! It's a Realm Reborn music. That means, fetch me a bottle of water, would you? Please, I don't want to do a fetch quest right now. Oh, shut up, you big baby. Just imagine the pool is full of gin. Mmm, gin. And so, we need something etherically dense and completely brainless to see if it's safe to go there and back. Hey, I take offense to that comment. I'm talking about a familiar. And by that, I mean I take offense on that familiar's behalf. How do you know they don't have a soul? After all the otherworldly beings that you've slaughtered, you're gonna start having an ethical dilemma right now? <laughs> no. Good. Super cutesy summoning chant from the depths of the seven hells. Ooh -woo. Wow, that scene was so cool. I'm gonna post about it on my Zwitter. Your what? You know, Zwitter. Website formerly known as Twitter, but then some blowjob changed the name. It's just called X. That's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. Look, I don't like Zwitter either, but we don't have to make things up to make it sound even worse. I, you know, yeah, sure. Sweet scent. How's that familiar thing going? And that's how I got my masters in only six months. Bro, I I'm not even high right now. The warding scales still work? I don't understand a single thing. Well, it's simple, really. The world was split into Final Fantasy XIV parts to stop a big bad guy after a nice lady made a hard decision. Then, Organization XIV tried to fuse all the worlds back together by overflowing an element in one while causing untold destruction in the source. Except, they had to test it out a few times to get it right and accidentally mistime a calamity in the source, turning the 13th into a quote, useless void. 
Thus, the Void that we know is actually the 13th as revealed by Emmett Selk and some other NPCs that aren't required plot content. I think that about sums it up. I don't think that's entirely right. <laughs> We're gonna need some extra help from someone who understands elegant technology. Sid, 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 Nero Sid, is off screen. Sid. I want to help, but I can't leave my post. Oi! John Heavensward told us you might pussy out. But if I leave, we can handle it. We love our leader. You need to learn to trust us to take care of things while you're gone. Hey, didn't we have this life lesson in the main expansion? Am I going crazy? I guess I could use a vessel like this one. You guess? I thought this was obvious. Why is this such a big deal to anyone? Can we just go to the dank dimension already? Bedtime. Perfect weather once again. I assume everything is ready to go because Sid and Nero are here. I'm Nero. Yep, that means we're good to go. Mate, Varshan, we need you right now. Okay. Oh no, he's a paladin. Curse you, Yoshi P, specifically, who's responsible for all storytelling decisions in Final Fantasy XIV. This better not happen again. By the way, Udi Anger said hi off-screen, and he got us this crystal from off-screen off-screen, which is the one that we used to beat Final Fantasy XIV for the PC. For the record, I absolutely detest all of these callbacks. Remember the world of darkness? I couldn't if I wanted to. This place is very purple. What a stupid color. Ha <laughs> ha it's you, the ones who went through the portal that we were observing constantly. Some of these void scent appear to understand portals. What about them? Wait, we might be able to extort some information out of them. <laughs> that is not what a person high on weed sounds like. I think we can talk to this one because I saw it in a cutscene earlier. Friend. There's only one piece of subhuman filth that would dare call me that in this game. <gasps> Xenos' voice sent? Damn, I thought it would be at least three expansions before they tried bringing him back. I'm not Xenos. Wait a minute. I knew this crystal was totally plot relevant. Audible gasp. Xenos enslaved a woman, so there was a good reason to kill him. He was a misogynist. You didn't have a problem with the genocide? Hey, you know what they say. Genocide, let it slide. Misogyny, get it off of me! Can you stop being so loud? Don't tell me what to do, woman! I see. I've been given another opportunity in this worthless world. Yeah, pretty much. Can you help us out? Only for the right price. Eat some of my aether. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, game. Ishtola is blind and uses her aether to see, which, according to Matoya, is draining her life force. And this is the character that you chose to donate aether. Not Dragon Boy over here with a fuck ton of it. Hey, glad to see you care even less about the plot details than I do. <laughs> I'm evil and not dead. And so, our world that used to shine bright and vibrant was consumed by unending dankness. Yeah, spare me the details. If I wanted to watch a depressed person talk, I have a perfectly functional mirror. Anyway, what's your name? Isn't it, woman? It was a lapse in judgment. Zero, then. Zero isn't a name. It's a number. Really thought you could pull a fast one on old Uncle Chair, huh? According to my Aether site, you're still a Void Scent. I'm half actually. My mother don't was corrupted when I was in the womb. Thank God. Knife attack! You really thought killing me would make me die? Hey, normally it would. This isn't helping find my sister. Oh, you look just like that dragon that we ate 5,000 years ago. Understood. You're really gonna make me do the same ad phase three times just to prove a point? You know, I kind of have to respect that. It's not working! Zero! Tell me you're important to the plot! Nuh-uh. Yes, huh? Okay. It can't be. The ultimate technique. Double and shroud and raid buffs? I didn't realize this tech would be so integral to the story. I'm gonna have to apologize to the optimizers immediately. Fool! You really think you can beat me? Oh! No! Triple communio under pot! My only weakness! Bronze Bez! You sacrificed me! You turned them into Memoria. Is this related to the Memoria War that Chair just skipped over? Are you always this smart or is it just today? Wait a minute! <sighs> Alright, we practiced this a hundred times. Yokozo, to my lair. Yes, that cape flip was fucking sick! Just because your cape flip was cool doesn't mean that we'll hang out with you. What if I do this? Oh! Wanna go back to my place? I thought you didn't have friends. They're roommates. The rent here is that bad? Didn't we just have a flashback to this guy? And so, he's dead. Oh, thank God. 
I've been trying to get rid of that dude for like a millennia and he just kept coming back. Now only the cool kids are left. I want to meet these people. Damn it. Go ahead. I just want to talk about my favorite Ghibli film. No, the wind rises. Yeah, that one was pretty good. No, I mean, she's here. Barbacoa. I hear that someone here knows how to fight. Why don't we see who's stronger? We're just here to find a dragon. You mean the one that we hold captive? Are you gonna help, Zero? The only help I want is with rent. I'll pay your rent for the next year, if you help us fight Barbacoa. Something need killing? Now we're speaking my language. She's thick, and she keeps getting thicker. Come on, Echo Headache. Now's the perfect time. Oh, of course it wouldn't work. It only works when it's completely inconvenient. Her blood sugar levels are insanely low. She couldn't even afford ramen? What the hell kind of place is this? I think it makes sense to regroup and get some real food into this woman. Hey, be careful with your word choice, Tadaima. Akaini no sai! It costs how much money to pay her rent? Well, a deal's a deal. Guess we can keep her here until she gets rehydrated. Ah, a nice room with working lights. I don't have medical insurance. Oh, and now I'm hallucinating? A hallucination? Where? And so, we have given you our finest apples. Why are you so small? Please, eat. Mmm, yummy yummy in my tummy. You don't know how to eat, do you? Damn, I thought that was pretty convincing. Put it into your mouth and chew. Mmm, it tastes like whatever taste is. Can you pay my rent now? Absolutely, but first, take a tour of the city. And this is where we buy food, and this is where we buy things, and this is where we buy alchemy. Any questions? Is there anything that we can do around here for free? Brood in the rain. Hey, is that a new friend? I don't know what that word means. It means someone that you spend time with for fun. Just like how Xenos felt when fighting you? That is an incredibly strange question. Yes. Tell us your entire history. The world was overrun with void scent. Then, suddenly, heroes appeared with the power to turn them into crystals, and they fought back and lost. No, they won, actually. Well, at first. Then they decided to take all the dank for themselves and corrupted the rest of the world for good. If it makes you feel any better, even if they had good intentions, it probably still wouldn't have worked out. Not all hope is lost. The 13th still exists, unlike some other shards. You want to try and fix the world? That's a fool's errand. Yes, it is. I don't want to save the world, but I'll help you if you pay for my meals as well for the next year. Deal. I don't think we have the money. I said it's a deal! She's not picking up either. What are you doing over there? Just playing Tomodachi Life on my Nintendo 3DS. Want to play it together? Not really. Well, then I'm gonna go hang out with people who will. Are you in? Anything to get out of this place? Fine. Leave me if you want. I don't need fake friends. I'll make my own real fake friends. Then the world will be bathed in salvation. And so, they live their lives happily, despite being weak, frail, and could have it all end in an instant, where our world knows nothing but endless hunger and anguish. Not too different from that man, but even he found fun in spending time with you. I wonder why that is. Have you ever considered it's because I'm just that cool? Did you need something? We're going to the void and you're coming with. There's a dragon in this city? I felt my sister's presence! We must teleport to Garlic Mall immediately! It just makes sense. Since we're here, that means we're gonna see cool Alphano and cute Alize again. Remember this segment from Endwalker? 
It was one of my favorites. Doesn't this callback make this moment much better? Not really. Are you sure you want to travel with Xenos' void scent? Don't remind me of how much I hate that man. Ooh, I like her. Have there been any void-like disturbances in the area? Nothing unusual, minus the huge horde of void scent summoned to the north. <coughs> that wasn't a cause for concern? Reaping is a garlician craft. We just made the assumption that an invisible group of reapers were responsible and in hiding. Where's Julius? We are slowly recovering. We need to get to the invisible reapers right now. You'll need a snowmobile, but they all broke down. What do you stand to gain from helping these people? It makes me feel better about myself. But does it help pay rent? There's more to life than paying rent. These people live for things other than rent. Is such a world possible? Killing void sent because we have to. These people rely on nothing but donations to keep them warm these days. It's no way to live. They need to get back on their feet again. Don't look at me. All the Razadhan money is going to pay Zero's rent. rab dub dub thanks for the grub. Wow, you're really good at handing out food. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a compliment. Bye-bye. You have some good friends. I still don't know what that is. Zolka. Am I... weird? It's obvious that you're incredibly broken, but I used to be weird like you too. When your world is so shattered, accepting help feels like admitting defeat. That's what that group of idiots do. Insist on helping those that refuse it. Just like that good moment from Endwalker. Want some spicy bread? Super hot. We're being attacked! If you go out there, you'll die. Well, I suppose I could wait around like a little bitch I know. Stay here. I'll handle this. Wait! Now I'm the bitch! Leave these ones to me. Ho 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 They really did it. They found a way to make playing Reaper even more boring. That's not my fault. My sprint was on cooldown. Am I going to lose just like that one time? We're here to kill all the women and children. Not on my watch. Great, she used to be a paladin. Oh, that explains it. That's why she's so depressed. Just try to stop the power of crystal fucking weed. I lost. Again. I guess I'm weak. Unlike Guts, who gets help from his friends. I'm never too slow when someone important is about to die. Why are you here? I have 20 bucks riding on you living, so I decided to cheat. <laughs> She's collapsed from stomach cramps. How starved was this woman? I want to join you in your quest. We can't afford another year of rent. I want to do it for myself. When you helped me in battle, I think it felt good. Maybe helping others will make me feel even better. That or murder just makes you feel good. Snowmobile done. Hey, a dungeon. It is I, a main villain. <laughs> Where is my sister? <laughs> right here. That's just an eye. Fool. Bronze Bez's right hand is coming for you next. His right hand comes off. We found an entire supply of ceruleum in this cave that solves a chunk of garlic mulled's fuel problems. How convenient. I have decided to help you out of the kindness of my heartburn. I love a happy ending. But first, we must go back to Razadhan before the void for some boat related reason. My heroic instincts are telling me there's a problem over there. I must help. No! Stay here and keep people calm and don't trust your close government official friends to handle it like we told you to earlier in the patch story. It just makes sense! The portal has been destroyed. It was all a distraction. Like this guy? Finally. A world full of real people where I can play Tomodachi life. You jump between the rifts just to play a niche mediocre 3DS title? Well. No one plays where I live, so... Pretty, Pretty sure, sure it was dead on arrival here, too. THIS IS BULLSHIT! I see. You're stronger than I am. What does Bronze Bez want? Why don't you find out for yourself? Hey, the Echo doesn't work on command just like that. Despite our world being filled with dankness, your faculties have remained intact, either due to high tolerance or because you managed to stay focused in spite of it. With our strength combined, we can conquer the source and claim it for our own. I don't believe in hope. What if we looked at this dragon again? 
My mind has been changed. I get it now. You formed a sobriety circle, yet none of you were truly friends. That's why you lost. Unlike me, who understands the power of friendship now and was not involved in beating you. Yes, and on my honor, here is Bronzebez's full name, address, social security number, credit card number, and the three wild digits on the back. Another successful encounter. So, Bronzebez plans to invade us. He must be desperate for time if he's willing to destroy his most powerful assets. That means we're just gonna have to wait around until someone figures out a solution who's not me. I'm a very busy chair. Moon. These sacrifices were necessary. Just like the dragon squirming behind me. I will not let your deaths be in vain. I shall bring about a new age of sobriety. Can someone get that stupid fog out of here? They seriously just palette swap the moon? <laughs> it's so fucking powerful. I'm about to go get some food. Would you like to come? I see that you enjoy extremely spicy cuisine. Do you not? Oh, I love eating it. I just hate getting hit with the spicy twices afterwards. Oh boy, I can't wait to try it. Future me is going to be very upset. That was delicious. Let's see if John Heavensward wants any. Oh, that's not the only thing that's hot around here. Where are my male presenting nipples? Is this what arousal feels like? Zero. It probably is. The answer is simple. We go to the void from the moon, and we'll end up on the void moon. Yeah, you talk it out without me. I need to be somewhere right now. Where are you going? To reap what I sowed. Udi Anger figured out it was possible to travel to the void on the moon, which is double helpful because space travel on the 13th would be next to impossible. Although, it will require a ton of aether from a dungeon, because we will be taking a whole dragon with us this time, and all we have to do is use the Tower of Babel from Endwalker and piss on the moon again. God, it's like lava! We're here to loot aether from a nearby island. Of course you are. I'm here to elude of something happening next expansion. I hope that I'm in an expansion for real this time. I'm high as a kite! Oh no! I'm coming down! Why does this place exist just to waste my time? We have approved your request. You just have an island full of seemingly infinite aether at your disposal, and you didn't let us use it when the world was about to end. You didn't ask. You son of a bitch. Did someone say bitch? And your highly complex problem is solved. Aren't you happy? My apathy is palpable. Why would you do that for free? Didn't you learn this life lesson like five minutes ago? I'm not emotionally consistent. I do it because of mutual suffering. For us that struggle with hangovers together, we have to learn to look out for each other. In other words, I trust them. I wish I could learn to trust my roommates to pay rent. Goodbye forever. Blah blah, just put the aether into the thing. I'm sad and concerned. People might freak out if the Tower of Power lights up again. I'll give them something else to be afraid of. We will never see ground to Eorzea. What do you want? Uh, a couple bottles of scotch. Urgh, I was saving that for a special occasion. We'll send it to them as an allied country. I think that'll help restore their confidence. What a nice group of people. Is that how trust works? I have no idea. I didn't trust anyone in the past either. Maybe I'm not so different. I sometimes wonder if those two were the last trusting people in the world. Maybe if I accepted their invitation. Oh, I get it now. This is friendship. Nah, good friends are still fun to hang out with when you're sober. Why are we flashing back to this guy all of a sudden? We are forever in your debt, you two. Debt? Please, hold on to this dragon eye. The damage these things did previously in the story terrifies me. Blah blah, we can open up a portal on the moon now, and we also repaired the constraints that originally held Zodiac in place, but repurposed them to suppress any void scent that tried to come through. Aren't these little rabbit creatures adorable? We're trying to be more cool! My hat is pretty cool. Ooh, is my neck really that stiff? Here, let me do that again. Being 179 years old is rough. Stop fucking around! This is required content! Laser attack. Is this safe? A little radiation never killed anyone. A lot of radiation did. Are they just asking to get invaded? 
The dragons can fly all the way to the moon? Yeah, that actually tracks with the lore. Speaking of lore, there is a reason for why the planar fissures to the dank dimension and the source are easier to make. And for some reason, this proves that it is still not possible to get to any of the other shards easily. Probably so that we don't ruin some later plot points in later expansions. Dragging these nuts across your face. This travel sequence is much more cinematic than the other portal. This is awful! I can't even mount to get around here faster. Point of interest, there's nothing here, game. There appears to be some kind of hole in the ground. That's the kind of stupid shit that I'd say. I think this is a hole. More like a whole load of shit. Yeah, I still got it. It also looks similar to where Zodiac was constrained in the source. Wow, we are all just stating the obvious today. Everyone, there's a hole in the ground. Nason, Okari no Sai. Ah, I understand Dragon perfectly. He wants me to return the eye. I see. Oh, you little nerd. You're still alive? Just like the good old days. Let's go home. I would if I could, but these chains are unbreakable. Audible gasp. We really didn't think we'd have to kick Bronze Bez's ass? How is this a surprise to anybody? Blah, 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 Rosetto Hon. I think they're talking about me. So. You're just gonna stay here like a loser? Your attempts at provoking me do not go unnoticed. I'll tell you what I know of Bronzebez because beating him is the only way to set me free. He likes to go to a special room on the south part of the moon. Thank god we have this guy around otherwise we'd never progress the story. There's a hidden switch under this rock. Really? Nah, it's just a crystal so I can- OH NO! You're fired. You killed women and children. What say you in your defense? I would do it again if I could. May they rest in peace. You're more noble than I, if you mourn for their deaths. Maybe if their life was better, they wouldn't have turned out this way. There's a goth girl in the village. Would you like to travel with us? No. You look too suspicious. I was hot back then, too. You really did show up. Wait, I know you. Impressive. Your memory remains intact despite our current predicament. You're the ones that have been killing the members of my sobriety circle, aren't you? What if I am? Well then, join me. Together, we can save this world from itself. If I can't grab a pint with my friends on the weekend, then your world sucks. Yes! She's learning! That's fine. I have my own friends. Watch your step. So, you wish to challenge me? Isn't that why I'm here? My eye doesn't deceive me. You might act like a complete buffoon, but your strength speaks for itself. Behold! Bring it on, you Rubik's Cube looking ass motherfucker. just stalling for time. I was waiting to summon a not primal with all the aether stored here. Behold, my ultimate master that will bring us salvation. One must. One must what? One must submit. He's too powerful. I know. Did you hear that one liner? We must retreat until next patch. The souls that the Void Scent consume are returned to their original state after they're defeated. In other words, not all hope is lost. Your sister could still come back, except for the fact that I can't even get close to it. The only way to beat Dankness is with getting lit. Maybe we can solve this problem if we go back to Shadowbringers. Shadowbringers really was the best. I've been standing here menacingly for like three hours. It'll take more time before we are able to reach full strength. I've made it this far on my own, just like when I found this cool helmet. Some amount of time has passed. It's a box! Of course. This box will solve all of our problems. I must remind you that the situation is urgent. That's the cue. We're not going to be handling this situation urgently whatsoever. As a matter of fact, we have to dick around in the first. It's just like playing Final Fantasy XIV for the PC. Using these balls, we can take all the aether from the first and push it somewhere else. I take it back. We better not be doing that. And this is related to that structure from Stormblood that is plot relevant. Take me to the first. I think we could save the world if we just push the light somewhere else. Seems like now is a good time. I don't think this is time sensitive. Hey, wait a minute. Greetings, traveler. Why are you here? Didn't the world stop ending? Let me tell you the situation as the screen fades to black. 
It's just crazy enough to work. Give me that note. G -g 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 Goth girl. I'll figure things out off screen. Ha 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 This place is pretty cool. I can show you the world. Perfect weather to look at the tower. Maybe I too can make the sky clear in the 13th. Is your blood sugar low again? You should be careful lighting up that tower. It might make some people upset, just like the people in Garlic Mold. I understand parallelism. We can solve this problem with a bottle of scotch. Close, but in this case. Fuck all that shit. Give me some jazz. Shots. On the rocks and I'm ready for some shots. Now everyone's willing to help. Thanks to playing Deep Rock Galactic, I know how to set up these hacking tethers. <gasps> Have I always been this pale? Fuck you, Wall! What the hell were you thinking? She's getting too lit. We must contain it. Is this what a hangover feels like? Why are you doing this? I realized all this time. I've just been stuck trying to make ends meet, never able to take my life into my own hands. I want to know what the freedom to fuck around is like, that I still have the ability to get lit. I don't understand a single thing you're saying in the slightest, but I know it's best to believe in oneself. Just don't be afraid to rely on your friends once in a while. I was able to contain the lit for them. This is true. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready in the source. Now we're ready on the moon. Blah blah, let the lit banish the dankness. Thus, thanks to the power of deep rock galactic hacking, we were able to save the first and the thirteenth simultaneously. Okay, not exactly. We took a little bit of the excess light from the first to remove a little bit of the excess darkness in the thirteenth. Thanks to inventing some random thing off screen. That's the actual plot. I must not walk in there as a dragon because I want to weaken our previous plot point. Ah, snow is so beautiful. I'm not even going to try to explain. There's no way. The bronze bez that we know isn't the same one from the past. Or I guess it's better to say that our characters didn't know that. But we, the viewers, did. It's called dramatic irony. I couldn't stop the dankness from corrupting you. Then I must use it to stop you. This confirms I don't understand how any of the mechanics in this world work. Because this is Final Fantasy IV. Teen. Am I tripping balls? Why? Why did it have to be you? You were the beacon of sobriety in this cursed land. I did it all for you! It's fine though. If the bronze bez I know no longer exists, I will carry your legacy. Ooh, I actually like this trope a lot, unironically. I think the bronze biz that we've been fighting is an imposter. I think there's still another way to save the world, Durante. I'll listen to you if you can beat one mus. Listen, with small changes- SMALL CHANGES NOT ENOUGH! Tell me, travelers from another world, have you ever been high 24-7? Stops being fun after about the first hour, never able to focus, never able to feel boredom, constantly sitting around doing fuck all. And it's all my fault. All because that accursed Ashian tricked me into hotboxing this world. I still hate that this is the plot that you're going with. With the power of this dragon's aether, we can finally set this world free! Why does everyone care about aether? It's all about dynamis now. What the hell is dynamis? Dynamis me with that gay shit. It's just as Shadow the Hedgehog said, everybody tries to be straight. <laughs> A couple of drugs in moderation isn't gonna break the world. Talk is cheap. I think it's time to whip out the natty light. Shit, that's all you had to say. I should have known I'd have to stop you myself. Oh, trust me. It's not gonna be much of a fight. Not if I make my real fake friends! We'll distract them while you take care of the real threat. Fight me, alloy boy! One person doesn't stand a chance against one bus. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. He might be stupid, but he's the real deal, Dwagon. Inspirational quote, they're going red and blue mode! Hey Yoshi, your fun hating days are over. Give me the kite. If you want it, then you'll have to take it. But you already knew that. I had a feeling you'd say that. You really 
want to fight over a stupid OGC. Oh, I don't want to. I have to. Hey, look, a content ID issue with The Storm from Devit May Cry. <laughs> I do check songs that I sample directly ahead of time, but it's an issue now with the totally real copyright holder, which is a shame because I made this sick. That should be a safe amount of sample time. I'd take it as a sign because the only other thing I had planned for this edit was... I'm a good guy now. Just like Final Fantasy IV, I don't need a flashback for this. So, there's always a path forward. What do you say, pal? Can you help me pay my rent? There's more to life than rent. Now! Not like that. When you get knocked down, you get up again. Cause you're never gonna- Ah, oh, come on, she's a paladin? Ugh, this game is garbage. Why couldn't she be a gunbreaker? Oh, I get it. She's like the warrior of light from this world, which means that Xenos... Oh. My God. She's safe. Varshan, that's a ball of light. It's her essence that I can put into one of my dragon eyes to bring her back to life. Yeah, just like Heaven's Ward or something. So I assume Zero's gonna agree to stay here and Bronzebez is gonna try to make die to atone for his sins or something, but be convinced not to instead. All of this is fine. I'm just confused about how he got so big. Yeah, just, just give him a firm handshake. Thank you for helping me. Anytime. It's what friends are for. Bronzebez is off screen. Damn, I miss your old outfit. The instrument of salvation, telling the death near of all creation. Oh, whoa? That'll let us find you if we ever need to. Let's shake on it. We're free! Yeah, give me that victory lap. Fortunalt said something vaguely positive. The first is happy because we solved the problem in the most unsatisfactory way possible. Ryan, have you been spending time with other goth girls? Eh, don't worry. Her lips were not nearly as big as yours. And we all went back to eating and drinking at that one place. My little brother is dead! He was a vessel and he was piloted by a dragon. Your words have no meaning! Had enough of this victory lap? Please save me. It's okay. We're going into the Dawn Trail warm-up soon. Meanwhile, in Charlian. This time, I'm going to be relevant. All I have to do is read this letter. Ooh, shiny! I knew something would happen related to next expansion. I took my hood off. Something good must have happened. Oh, Erinville, where were you? America, I've now had a taste of patriotism. It's freedom time! The person that you're looking for is right here. Why is she so small? I don't even know at this point. I think I made this character with min height and max boobs like 40 years ago. Let's kill a beast together. I remember going here for some plot reason. This place is awesome, just like my brother told me. Your brother went to school here? Hell yeah! You know, she's gonna be fun to have around next expansion. Come here, little birdie. birdie, birdie. It can talk? Ooh, she's giving us a glimpse of Heaven's Ward Warrior damage output. Here I thought we were just getting started. It was fun though. He's right behind me, isn't he? Leave this one to me. Go! Green Mage attack! Wow, Green Mage is incredible. She insisted that she help when everybody else ran away. Ah, this is why you disappeared for a second. Yes, I wanted to impress Wook Lamott with my green mage skills, but I guess I was too late. Are you kidding me? That was awesome! I've always felt like I couldn't help because the writers wouldn't let me, but I can write my own story now. I remember when I finally got to be plot relevant. I'm sure you'll do great. I think that this letter is from your father. Nope, not from him. But it does have his signature. That's... curious. Time to eat! We're eating that? It's just like what I thought it would look like. Pretty sure they served you a normal meal instead of whatever carcass you brought them. Um, nom, 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 nom. It tastes like beef. I've seen this spicy sauce somewhere before. Don't eat it if you want to practice self-care. I assure you there's a good reason for all of this. I didn't know you were from America. I would have asked you about it otherwise. Which is exactly why I didn't say anything. I can tell that you're strong because you beat that bird that we're currently eating. 
the whole god killing thing wasn't good enough for you? Our nation is having a battle to determine the new leader because my father, the Don Trailant, wants to retire. I like all the other candidates too, except for one real scumfuck bastard. So I don't care if we win as long as he loses. That's the premise of next expansion. Count me in. We must read about this immediately! I don't remember anything from this segment the first time around and I am not even going to try on the second. So, what do you think about Wuklamat's deal? Eh, why not? It's better than sitting around here reading books all day. You would say that. She's definitely not telling us the full story. That's part of the fun, though, isn't it? Consider all the things that you will hear, feel, and think while you're there. Alright, that's it. I hated when we referenced Harshafont dying 40 times. I hated when we mentioned Zenos 30 times. I hated when we called back to Emmett Selk 20 times. But this, this line right here, after Endwalker, Never again. That one goes in the vault. Heh. <laughs> I've decided to go. All by yourself? I can't leave the school behind. I'll stay behind. This expansion is all you. Really? Por que no los dos? The new map from the devs just dropped. Psh! We're going to America. One boat to America. Udi Anger. You ready for a three month bender? I have to traineth right awayeth. I knew we would be getting the nine gates of hell back together. Remember when Emmett Selk said there would be more expansions? If you can't extrapolate my opinion from all of that insanity, I'll say it directly. I strongly dislike the story in these patches. It was bad enough the first time around, then doing a second playthrough for this video was so painful, I almost gave up. Waiting in line for Nekopara merch would have been more exciting, because at least I get something at the end of it. It's so long, just to go back over previous story conflicts and redo them in the worst way possible. It genuinely feels like padding. If Endwalker is the epitome of everything I like about Final Fantasy XIV's story, then its patches are the epitome of everything I dislike. So much content with so little substance. But my primary issue is that it refuses to let things go. Medion ending the story on the note of, I don't know how the world will fix itself, but as long as people try, it'll happen eventually, is so much more powerful than anything anyone could ever write. Stumbling into solutions off screen, like Deep Rock Galactic hacking, or establishing a trade route, are somehow the worst ways to do it. Retroactively, it makes previous plot points have so much less weight. Guess it was just that easy this whole time. I could have accepted the past story being bad on its own terms, but it just had to drag the greater narrative down with it. For a new adventure, it is certainly more concerned with being stuck in the past. Which is odd, considering this is floated to be the new starting point for new players. That's what's clouding my judgment. I am not the intended audience. Is it a good starting point, though? In my opinion, also no. Making a new player sit through a bunch of long-winded explanations of the universe and prior plot points isn't going to be that entertaining for most people outside of those who really like world building by itself. And those are the kind of people who will play through the entire story anyway. These watered-down versions of emotional peaks from Endwalker are bad, even without the prior context. They gave us a codex to explain the characters and use the screen time for world building. I think the converse would have been better, showing us who the main cast is through whatever silly plot antics, and letting people look up the underlying world mechanics in an almanac. That's the whole reason for the fresh start, to go to a new place with the current consistent cast that doesn't have too many ties to the current world. A place where new and veteran players have to learn about all the new plot threads together. Final Fantasy XIV's story is at its worst when it tries to make sense of everything it ever said ever, instead of just telling the story that it wants to tell. Shadowbringers and Endwalker worked pretty well for most people, and it threw away and retconned huge portions of the story. Like many 14-isms, it's not all bad. They do a good job of showing us who Ishtola and Astinian are, as they are the only ones really directly involved in this storyline. But all the other former Scions feel incredibly underbaked if this was your introduction to them. Julis sitting there and talking about how the twins didn't give up on him is infinitely weaker than what happened in the expansion story. 
and it probably would have been better to just show the twins not giving up on Zero instead. It somehow makes Zero come off as a character who tries to copy Julius's homework for how to be dynamic. If I was getting into Final Fantasy XIV and this was my introduction to its story, I'd be extremely disappointed. But we have that experience already, it's called The Realm Reborn. At least, this one is shorter. As a final note, don't get any of these concluding thoughts twisted. This is my opinion, so don't go around and act like everything I just said is a fundamental truth or I'll personally tell you that you're wrong for agreeing with me. When I say that I like Final Fantasy XIV's story, I mean I like Shadowbringers and Endwalker's story. I enjoy parts of Heavensward, I like some parts of Stormblood, I am the biggest of Realm Reborn hater. Those two are head and shoulders above the rest and Shadowbringers is designed to be enjoyable without playing anything prior. Instead of the skip option putting players at 6.1, put them straight to 7.0, and tell them the new game plus any expansions if they want to understand why so many people love it. As a reminder, players who want to play through the game as just an RPG are not being barred from doing so. I guarantee new players can still play through the whole game in order if they want to, so that they can learn to hate A Realm Reborn half as much as I do. In the same vein, there are plenty of players who just play Final Fantasy XIV for the MMO part. I do think that's a valid way to play and support the game, and that should be an ice-cold take. This allows them to rope in parts of the audience that they otherwise wouldn't. We can have both. We can have our cake and eat it too. These are not mutually exclusive. At the end of all of this, I would be lying if I didn't say that I am somewhat scared of Don Trail's story after the patches. For my sake, I want Don Trail to be something different and not bog itself down with the rest of the story, outside of a few callbacks that subtly acknowledge veterans. I just don't know if they can do it. They did it with 1.0 before, but all the signs currently point to them not letting go. But Shadowbringer patches also ended on a very weird note that left me anxious. So maybe it's not a sign of things to come, and like last time, my concerns are just concerns. Contrary to niche belief, I would like to be wrong. I don't experience the story to try and hate it. As it stands, skipping through the patch story would have left me with much more positive feelings towards Endwalker's narrative on the overall. Now let's get out there, and don't ask me about a Don Trail story video for at least two years. As always, a special thanks to my patrons for making it possible to take several weeks working on a YouTube abridged series. I'll put the original Bury the Light edit up on there as well, but I don't think that's worth your money. <laughs>